Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we're going to talk a little bit more about the Meadows case and a question that the judge has because it, it seems like it's probably going to end up being pretty important and it may establish things for other developments later. So short version is that the judge is asking for more information. Now this is about Meadows, who was Trump's chief of staff, trying to remove the Georgia case and get it into federal court instead. Um, the question asked by the judge, the, the one that seems like it's going to matter, would a finding that at least one, but not all, of the overt acts charged occurred under the color of Meadows' office be sufficient for federal removal of a criminal prosecution? So, what is being asked is, out of all of these actions, some look like they were within Meadows' real scope of, of duty, and some don't. Is, does the fact that some of them appear to be within the scope of his duties, does that mean that it goes to federal court? That's what the judge is asking for arguments on. Um, I would suggest that the judge wouldn't ask this question unless they believed that some of Meadows' acts, alleged acts, uh, are, are something that would fall outside the scope of his duties. Now, the judge has given them until Thursday to submit and say, this is, this is our argument. Um, my gut tells me that, I mean, even just a few of the acts being outside of his scope would be enough to leave it in Georgia. But I'm not a lawyer. I'm not a judge. That just seems like how it should work, you know. One of the things that is also important to note is that I wouldn't expect a decision anytime soon. The judge seems very aware that the decision reached here is going to be used as, as kind of a, a precedent, not really, but for other decisions later. So there, there's been an indication that the judge is going to take their time and really think about this, really look at the law. The reason I don't think that we're going to get a decision anytime soon is the judge said that if a decision wasn't rendered by the time of the arraignment in Georgia, that Meadows needs to go. If I'm not mistaken, that's September 6th. So the judge is concerned that a decision won't be reached by that point, which means they're definitely going to take their time with it. If this goes against Meadows, it's probably going to go against everybody else. If the decision reached here falls and says that it needs to remain in Georgia, I would imagine that pretty much everybody is going to remain in Georgia. Looking at it, out of everybody, he probably had the best case. So if it goes against him, I don't know how the other people are going to really try to make one. But we will wait and see what the judge says. When it happens, I will let y'all know. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.